let's step back and, and ask, what is the goal of supply chain management? Professionals who engage in a career of supply chain, what is it that they're trying to do? At the end of the day, they are trying to deliver business value to the companies that they're working with. So in that, in, in that context, I'll, I'll start my response by pointing you to what I, um, uh, what I'd call the, uh, the goal is to deliver operational total shareholder returns. And what exactly are operational total shareholder returns? This is about driving customer service. That, that comes most naturally to people that, yeah, of course, supply chain management, you, you've got customer commitments, I've got to go meet them. But then in the background, we have to help the, the company drive revenue growth. We have to deliver the service level that our customers expect of us at the right cost to, to serve and the right cash to serve, how much money we have tied up, tied up in the supply chain matters. So the goal is to deliver total shareholder returns, and the path to getting there actually in what is, is really uh, made up of a lot of underlying processes, which I call use cases in supply chain. Uh, and I'll, I'll point that out for the benefit of our audience over here. But if we, if we think of a generic supply chain starting with the customers, because you know the world revolves around the customers, and we go back from the customers all the way through the regional distribution centers where the product is being sourced, to central product distribution centers, to the manufacturers and upstream to their suppliers. That is essentially the supply chain, and the supply chain is increasingly global, uh, complex. And the things that you see in gray at the bottom are the underlying processes. Uh, network design and optimization is about, you know, where do I build my factories? Where should my distribution centers be? Where should I source the products from? Uh, should I source from China, Vietnam? Where? Why? Integrated business planning is about bringing together sales and operations and finance, marketing. Uh, demand planning is trying to predict the demand as, as fickle as consumers have become. Uh, Inventory is about positioning the right supply at different stages of the supply chain network. Supply planning is answers the question what to make, where, when, how much. Production scheduling talks about uh, how to make the best use of individual factories. Then we have the collaboration with the customers, collaboration with the suppliers on the other end. When you've got limited supply as we have today, how do we allocate that limited supplies across the different tiers of our customers, different regions. Then you move forward and say, well, I want to have real-time visibility into where my stuff is all over the globe, on ocean liners or on air airplanes or on trucks. That's, that's visibility and orchestration. Finally, the, the rubber meets the road at the warehouse and, and uh, in the transportation logistics network. All these processes together form supply chain management which is why it is a very interesting discipline and also an incredibly complex one.